What's cooking, folks? Vermillion Phoenix here, and we are back with the life of Mag. Now, she's growing up pretty fast, but as always, kids really just never have enough lunch money. So, credits are tight, and you don't really have enough cores or credits to max out a lot of the mods that you'll start to get. You may even grab some rare ones, and the way that the game works, the rarer the mod, the more expensive it is to rank up. And that's true for each rank, it just increases in cost. And the higher the number of ranks available for leveling the mod, the more it'll cost. So what you're going to run into here is a kind of tug of war between getting more gear and building more mods. And here is the compromise that I find. Because you won't have a ton of mods that you can use on your frame to make it better. You may have a few, like I managed to actually pick up a streamline and a flow. So my abilities are able to be used a bit more, makes the frame a bit more versatile, but I'm still not spamming abilities everywhere to win. What you'll want to do is keep one weapon that's well leveled or that you can mod to do a significant amount of damage and basically handle the majority of your enemies. It'll be your go-to weapon for most of the situations that you're in and then select other gear for the other two slots. So if you have a good melee weapon, you, get, you, you level a new primary and secondary. If you have a good secondary, you level your primary and your melee weapon. And if you have a good primary, then you level your secondary and your melee weapon. Just swap them out, roll with them. And that'll make sure that the mastery that you get isn't going to waste. Uh, for weapons, using the weapons themselves gains them mastery. Uh, every kill that you get scores that affinity uh, and goes into the frame itself, or not the frame, but the weapon. And every kill that your teammates get, that affinity gets evenly distributed between everything that you have currently equipped. So your frame and each of your weapons, primary, secondary, and melee, all get 25% of the affinity. So it actually is a good idea, if you want to level fast, to go into some defense missions. Because generally the area that you can travel is very slim. Most people will stay close enough together that you're basically going to pick up the affinity for all your mates' kills. That works great. You'll level up really fast. It's a good way to... Uh, Kind of get new weapons usable really quick. If you do manage to f see any alerts pop up for any important gear, any anything like auras, uh, forma blueprints, catalyst and reactor blueprints, potatoes. What you'll want to do is go into the recruitment channel and request a taxi. What that's going to be is a player with a bit more experience in the game further along in the star chart joining the mission and bringing you with them. this allows you to get to the node and do the alert without you having necessarily completed everything necessary to get there on your own and this is probably one of the best things about Warframe the fact that newer players can kind of show you where you'll wind up before you get there and it might be tough because a lot of times what that'll mean is that you'll be going to places where the enemies are much higher level but the overall scaling in the game is such that your defenses can be leveled rather quickly it's the damage that you deal that takes the biggest fall off as the enemies get harder so you'll be able to survive somewhat okay you just won't be able to kill much but that's fine, because what you're there for is the prize, the reward at the end, and hopefully the people that taxi you there can take care of it. But the kindness of others will get you very far in this game. That's basically how I got the Volcar rate. In addition to that, what you're going to want to do is focus on specific weapon types as you start playing the game. If you level up a lot of rifle mods, you're going to want to stick to bows and rifles as they both use the same mod set, same thing as sniper rifles. Although bows and sniper rifles have a few exclusive mods, for the large part they'll be the same. Uh, luckily with secondaries, 
there are very few exclusive mod types for secondary weapons, so leveling any of those is usually pretty okay. Uh, then with weapons, the general mods are about the same, but you'll find stances, and once you find a stance, stances offer a mod energy bonus as well as a particular combo set for a weapon that will make it much more useful than just having the bare weapon itself. Uh, usually this involves increasing the attack speed somewhat or multiple hits per key press and often it includes a damage increase on some of the hits. So there's absolutely no reason you don't want a stance other than just, you know, for fun. But if you find a stance that works out pretty well, the good thing is you'll be able to carry it across any weapon type that is of the same class. So there are a number of staves. The Mark I bow is a stave, is a staff. The regular bow is a staff, and the Amphis is a staff. And oddly enough, the Tipido, even though it, is, it appears to be something of a spear or pole arm, it's considered a staff as well because it's made from the bow maybe. But either way, that means that you kind of get a path for how to purchase your weapons to gain mastery without really losing the mods or the playstyle that you've become accustomed to, which I think is a great part of the developers, but it'll also help you out as you get into the game. Uh, as far as the rifling goes, if you do tend to like shotguns, um, if you can manage to get yourself up to mastery rank 3 or 4, that's when you'll really get access to the shotguns. The, because we're focusing on 0 on 1 at the moment, I'm not really going to talk too much about those, but I am going to talk about where I think the best mastery rank 0 and 1 weapons are. So look forward to that and a video coming up shortly. And be getting back to more in the life of Meg a little bit later because I'm about to hit mastery rank 3 but if you guys enjoyed this video feel free to like or subscribe uh, leave any comments that you think will be relatable to anything that I've mentioned or talked about and as always I hope you enjoy your day and have a good one